welcome to this tutorial on Mastercam's waterline toolpath. Um, we're going to be programming this part right here. So let's go ahead and get into that. Let's go to machine, no, let's do a default. And we're going to set up our stock. Here we go. Just adding bounding box cursor next to manual and auto generator stock here. And if uh, you saw the opti rough toolpath, we're going to use that to hog out a lot of the material on here. So let's go ahead and click that. And then we're going to do machining geometry. And I'm just going to select everything. And this is fine as is 50 thou on the wall and 50 thou on floor. So toolpath control, we're going to go from outside, uh, compensate to center is fine, and there's no boundary. So tool, let's go ahead and create a tool. Let's just use a face mill. And let's just do a full radius here. Oops, sorry, corner radius. That's the one we want. And we'll leave that at, at eighth inch radius on the bottom here. And secondary diameter is 2, 1.9. Oh, I think I got this. One point seven five. There we go. Okay, sorry. Eighth inch radius, right? Okay. So now we have our face mill here. I'll just spin it at thirty five hundred and we'll go like sixty IPM and sixty plunge rate. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to cut parameters, distance, I'll do uh hefty 50% on that and step down we can't um, we can't have it step down that far right if we're using an inserted cutter so let's just go ahead and do I'll just say 200 and then this is going to be fine for our minimum tool radius uh, steep shallows, we're not going to do anything here. We're going to let it do the entire thing. And then for linking parameters, I'm going to put uh, 250 thou for our uh, clearance plane. Lead in, lead out. We'll just leave, or yeah, we'll just leave all this the same. And everything should be pretty good here. I'm going to do uh, machine and tire pass and minimum vertical retract. And I'll do 200 for the back feed rate. Make it a little bit faster here. And entry motion, we're all from the outside, so it's not that necessary. Okay. Apply. Okay. So now we have a toolpath that's going to hog out a lot of this material here. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that. And then next thing we need to do is clean up our wall here and our floor. So if I do a 2D contour and I select loop, if I see right here, it's going to do a chain around the wall, which is not what we want. And I'm going to show you a little trick I use a lot of the time. So I'm going to close that toolpath and we're going to go to wireframe and I'm going to curve one edge and we're just going to pick lines off of this. And just spin it around. So we picked uh, some geometry off the side wall here and we need to do this inside wall. We'll do the floor there. 
and then also I'm going to pick the edges off the bottom here but we could use a uh, curve all edges and we could see that we have some uh, a broken face right here and it's trying to pocket that out so we'll go back to curve one edge we'll select that and then I'm going to click OK and we'll just get rid of these sorry deleted those all right so now let's go back to our tool paths and do our 2d contour and I'm going to select wireframe and I'm going to select all the chains we just did here all right cool so now we're going to create another Tool. We're going to create a, uh, an end mill. I'll just use a flat end mill. Let's use a three quarter because I, I want to use it to kind of um, face this step right here. So it should be enough to do that. And I'll just uh, spin that at seven grand. We'll do uh, 50 IPM, uh, 50 for the plunge, and we'll do a rapid retract. Cut parameters, I'm going to turn on wear. And then the rest of this is going to be good. Zero stock on walls and floor. Our lead in, lead out, it's a bit exaggerated. I'm going to put 25% here and 25% for the arc, and transfer that over to our exit. And I'm also going to do hundred thou uh, step over um, don't need depth cuts and we don't need um, multi passes or breakthrough and for linking parameters retract and these are all going to be incremental because we're using uh, 3d contours so it's going to be based off of the depth of our lines I'm gonna click OK on that and now we have our simple uh, contour tool pass to clean this up and now finally we can get into our water line and we're going to do machining geometry and I'm going to select all these curved surfaces And that should do it. Oh, this is also curved. Right, right, right. Okay. I'm going to select that. And then avoidance region, I'm just going to pick the crown here. Um, I don't want the tool path to dip onto our flat surface here. And then also this ring around here uh, toolpath control um, these are going to be fine and then I'm going to go ahead and go to our tool and I'm going to create a ball end mill half inch ball end mill will work great for this I'll go ahead and spin that at 7 grand and we'll also go 60 IPM and 60 for the plunge and then for uh, cut parameters, I'm going to go one way just so it kind of spirals its way downwards. And then it's also going to be climb milling that way as well. And we're just going to uh, cut order. I'm going to leave that by depth. And then if you do bottom to top, it'll start from the bottom and work its way up, right? But we'll just work our way down up from, <laughs> from top to bottom. Sorry. Uh, step down, I'm going to put that at 20 thou, so kind of leave a fine finish. And then add cuts, um, maximum profile step over is 250. I'm going to put that at 50 thou. 
that's only one decimal place. And then minimum step down at 2,000 is going to be fine. Critical depths, including flats. I'm going to go ahead and leave that off. And we'll see what it does. And then for our steep shallow, we're going to change the maximum depth. I want it to uh, mill past this just so it um, rounds it over entirely. So I'm um, negative 2.75 and so negative 2 inches, 3 quarter. And then for linking parameters, uh, clearance plan, I'm going to put 25 thou. And the lead in, lead out, I'm going to leave as is. And linear entry percent of tool diameter that's fine at 100 percent tangential ramping that's going to be fine and 10 degree angle that's also good and i'm going to machine entire pass and let's go ahead and generate that tool path might take a second with that 20 thou step over or step down you can see kind of made like a wire mesh over our part here. So we can kind of see what it's doing. So let's go ahead and uh, verify this and see how our part turns out. Sorry, my computer's a little sluggish right now done a few of these videos and working in uh, 3D modeling and stuff it really kind of bogs it down sometimes so I'm going to leave this the same and then you can see I, we have our OptiRough toolpath here which is just uh, ripping out material we had our um, And you can see that we have a step on our wall and our step on our floor here. And I think I left material on the stock. So if we go back up to our model geometry, yeah. I'm going to change that to zero and then also change the floor stock to zero. Sorry about that. It's uh, It goes with uh, programming, right? Sometimes you miss things. So let's go ahead and re-verify our part here. It'd be really cool if machines ran this fast, huh? <laughs> All right, cool. So now we have our waterline tool path doing all of these roundovers and inside fillets. So uh, thanks for watching and make sure to uh, follow this channel and I'll keep posting um, more tutorials on uh, Mastercam. And if you have any suggestions or things you want to learn, just uh, leave something in the comments and I'm sure I'll get around to it. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.